All right, this problem says for some painkillers, the size of the dose D given depends on the weight of the patient W. Thus, D equals F of W, where D is in milligrams and W is in pounds. So we need to interpret the statements. F of 140 equals 120, and F prime of 140 equals 3 in terms of this painkiller. So if I think of what F of 140 means, I have to think about what each of these units of measure are. So 140 is referring to the input, which is W, and W is weight of the patient, which is pounds. So this is 140 pounds. Now 120 is the output, which is D, which is the dose in milligrams. So this is milligrams. So if I'm going to describe this, I would say when a patient weighs 140 pounds, they will receive a dose of 120 milligrams of painkillers. Now let's look at F prime of 140 equals 3. Now again, 140 is in pounds, but 3 is a derivative here. So that's going to be milligram per pound in that unit of measure. So I would begin the same way I begin the other one. When a patient weighs 140 pounds, Their dose of painkillers will increase, and I get the word increase because this number is positive, at a rate of, now I add the phrase at a rate of, because it's a derivative, then I would say 3 mil milligrams per, per pound. So in other words, for every pound over 140, the dosage goes up about 3 milligrams. Now that's, that's a nice way to estimate something because then we have to talk about Part B. Use this information in the statements in Part B to estimate F of 145. So if you think about how many pounds more than 140 is 145, that's 5 more pounds. So a person with... 140 pounds gets 120 milligrams of dose, but I have to add 3 milligrams per extra pound over 140. So that's where the 3 and the 5 come from. So this is going to be 120 plus 15, which is 135 milligrams.